In this video, I'm gonna help you with probably the most difficult part of video making, coming up with a good, strong, and targeted idea. After these four tips, you won't ever have a dreamless night due to not having an idea for your next video. Tag along. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter, and in the past 10 years that I've spent with making videos, the most difficult part was always coming up with the idea, to this day. Because the idea is the core of the video. That's what's going to make a video good and get a lot of views eventually. A lot of people still think that the only two things that you need in order to skyrocket your video views is a catchy title and a clickbaity thumbnail. But the thing is that these things are worth nothing if the video idea itself is bad. Because maybe you get a lot of views because you get a lot of clicks. So that counts as a view. But people will drop off of watching your video after 10 seconds and that will bring down your audience retention which will eventually lead to bad ranking and the YouTube search engine. But then there's the question, what makes an idea good? First of all, I think it's important to make a difference between a good idea and a targeted idea. Now, a good idea is not always targeted, but a targeted idea should be always a good idea as well. You see, just a simple good idea won't necessarily attract a lot of views, story of my life. Whereas a targeted idea will serve what the viewers want to see. It's basically supply and demand matter. And on that note, I'm gonna show you the first technique that you can use in order to find ideas for your videos that people are actually looking for. Before I tell you though, I have to say that you do have to have a basic idea as to what you wanna make videos about, your channel idea, so to say. But once you have that, go ahead and search for answerthepublic.com. This website is basically a summary of questions, word combinations, sentences, and searches that people use while browsing the internet. The way it works is that you type in a phrase, the more specific, the better, and then you hit search. Let's search for filmmaking, for example. And as you can see, it will give you a lot of results that you can actually use as ideas and make videos around. And if you zoom in on these images, you can see that it also gives you popularity scales for each result. So I'm gonna call them actually ideas because to me, that's what they are. So you can even determine whether an idea is gonna work or not, or at least you can have a basic idea as to how popular that video might be. It gives you a lot of question ideas as well that are really good because you can use the question in the title as well. And a question title will always make viewers more curious. You can basically have ideas from this side for the rest of your video making career without ever having to brainstorm about an idea. And the best thing is that people are actually looking for these answers that you can give them in the form of a video. Just to stay around the topic of people looking for answers that you can give them in the forms of videos, another great technique that you can use um, when it comes to coming up with ideas is looking at the Google and YouTube search bar autofill results. The reason it's a good technique is because the search engine will show you results that people have already looked for, and probably a lot of people, that's why the search engine believes that it's a hot topic. Okay, let's look at an example. I'm gonna start typing barbecue, and as you can see, here are the most search results. Sometimes these things are really funny, so it's, it's even something that you can do for fun. I can also start searching for dog or cat and stuff like that. And if you actually compare these results with YouTube's search bar autofill results, they're very similar. So that's also proof that people are looking for these um, stuff. But also with this technique, you do have to know your channel idea. So you actually know what to type in the search bars. Okay, before I move on to tip number three, please, if you're enjoying this video and you find it helpful so far, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more video making content. And make sure that you watch until the end because in tip number four, I'm gonna give you an idea to come up with your channel idea. So I think it's worth watching. All right, so number three is a bit more specific than the first two because it's most useful when you're making product-related videos. Because if you're making videos about 
I don't know, gardening and gardening equipment, you can go on Amazon or other um, websites where they're selling gardening equipment um, and you can look at the product reviews. The reason product reviews are good sources for video ideas for your channel is because in the product review section, people are asking questions about the product. They're, they're writing about issues related to a certain product. They have questions about maybe even gardening. So you can take all these questions and answers and information that you can get from the product review sections and you can turn them into videos. So when people are looking for these information and answers, uh, in Google or on YouTube, you can give them the answers in the form of your videos. Now, you probably have noticed that all of these um, techniques and tips are all related to people looking for information. And the reason behind that is that the way people use YouTube has changed a lot in the past couple of years, especially with the rise of the short video platforms like TikTok or Instagram Reels or even YouTube Shorts. You see, entertainment is less and less looked for on YouTube. Information, on the other hand, is more and more demanded. People will want to see funny and stupid entertaining videos on Instagram Reels or, or, or TikTok. I'm sure you're sending your friends uh, Instagram Reels and TikToks all day long to give them a laugh. But when it comes to YouTube, people want longer videos and people want to get something from them, like valuable knowledge. You know, <laughs> people are lazy. They don't want to go to school. They don't want to go to university. They don't want to open up a book. Um, they just want to learn everything and anything from the comfort of their home on YouTube. And that takes us to the number four technique for coming up with channel ideas, like I mentioned before. And it's not else than teaching what you know best. One thing that I noticed in this ever changing system and world of YouTube in the past couple of years, um, is that people started making videos about what they know best about their hobbies and, 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 and about their special knowledge, not necessarily just funny, entertaining videos like, I don't know, playing a, a PC game or making sketches or challenge videos that used to be, that used to be a trend back in 2010. And people that start creating videos about what they know best they rise from zero to huge success in the matter of no time. I've seen so many creators rise from zero to huge success in the matter of weeks uh, just by creating videos about what they know best. And the reason why the best thing to start making videos about today is your knowledge about something is because it doesn't matter if it's carpenting, gardening, fishing, um, tracking animals in the forest, cooking, building homes is because it will all teach something to the viewer. And not only does it teach something to them, but it also gives them something that carries value. And that's what people look for in a video or in a good idea in general. And even if people don't want to learn what you want to make videos about, because it can happen, but if you love doing that certain thing, people will enjoy the video still because they will see that you really like doing that certain thing. So they will also like watching uh, that you're that you like doing that certain thing. So either way, no matter why you start making videos about what you know best or, no, or why people actually watch it, it's still a win-win situation. Just make sure that you really do have a lot of knowledge about something. Otherwise you can come out as fraud and, and fake and pretending and that's not good. So just think about your hobby, your profession itself even, or, or a foreign language that you can speak and make videos about those things. And once you have that, it will be much easier to use the other three techniques that I shared in this video to come up with successful video ideas. And once you actually start making videos, you can use the Uniconverter to help you out in the video making process. You can use this software for video editing, video compressing, screen recording, which is a great tool to make videos. You can even record your screen and yourself at the same time. So it's, you know, all you need is a laptop or computer. It can also work with images. It has AI tools like AI background remover for your videos, AI voice changer, AI vocal remover, and many, many more. So if you feel like you want to give it a try, you find all the links in the description. But that was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful or useful or good, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on video making. With that being said, thank you so much for watching again and I'm gonna see you in the next video.